Hello, it is time for another Say Hi Paul hobby vlog. I say another, um, all my previous hobby vlogs have been on deploymentzone.tv over the course of, uh, what's it called, lockdown, that's the thing. Uh, this is the first one that will be going on the channel, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a background for what I've been doing over lockdown and then talk about my current Night Lord's Dilemma. So, when lockdown started way back in March, it started a little earlier for me because um, I was in one of those protected groups uh, and my employer said, thou shalt work from home. So I did like an extra week or something. Either way, back in March... I started assembling things because I didn't have any enthusiasm to paint. And uh, I paint, I assembled these Night Lords, a um, couple of thousand points of World Eaters that I've had kicking about for ages, all of my Death Guard from the Conquest collection, um, and left over from my 8th Ed boxed set. Uh, what else did I assemble? A whole load of corn demons, uh, a thousand points of night goblins for Age of Sigmar, and a bunch of Age of Sigmar scenery. Um, some of these guys for Underworlds. Uh, I am probably forgetting something, but I did a lot of uh, of assembling. So I started off on my Night Lords when I got the painting bug back. Started on the Night Lords. Then had a brief hiatus to paint the Night Goblins and the AOS scenery and a Blood Bowl team, which are up on my Instagram. The AOS scenery isn't on Instagram, but the Night Goblins uh, are. Um, so, yes, these are what I've painted so far. I'm now going to try and change the zoom level on the camera, and I don't know if I can do that whilst I'm recording. Turns out I can! Excellent. So, I've taken a lot of inspiration from the uh, Night Lord trilogy by uh, ADB, which is one of the best Black Library series I have ever listened to. It's absolutely freaking awesome. Uh, and so far I've painted a lot of infantry. I've got a lot of my claws painted. And I've, I've covered a lot of these individually on Instagram and on deploymentzone.tv, so I'm not going to go over old ground. Um, but I am intending on filming a bat rep over the next few days uh, with my Night Lords versus my Fulminators. So my current lockdown situation is that I am in a bubble and some other people in my bubble are shielded, which means that in order to remain in said bubble, uh, mm, I like saying the word bubble, hmm, who knew, um, that I can't have any contact with people outside of the bubble. Uh, so I am still, from that point of view, still um, isolated and not gaming. However, I have had, on TV some success with uh, playing against myself in the garage. So I intend to do that for my first bat rep on, uh, on the channel. So it's currently Saturday. Uh, it's currently the release day of the uh, Indomitus box. And um, the, I've had an email saying the courier that is going to bring it to me from Firestorm Games isn't going to get here till Monday. So that makes me a sad panda. So what I am focusing on right at the minute is getting a good playable 1,500 points. Uh, oh, for those of you who can hear a cat meowing in the background, that is my co-star Lemmy who always wants to be on camera whenever I'm filming. So uh, if you've not seen one of these before, yeah, she will stick her nose in at some point, I am sure. And as if on cue, here she is. Yes, I love you. I know, I know. You're not to eat any models. 
Back in the day when she was a kitten, which is a long time ago now, she would always chase after dice whenever I was gaming, wouldn't you? And somewhere out there, I think my friend sold it on eBay, but somewhere out there, there is a Lehman Russ tank with her teeth marks in the back because she jumped on the table, bit into it and tried to drag it off, didn't you? Oh, there's no use looking all shy and, you know, like, oh, what, are you there? You know you love the camera. Yes. Okay, so let's see if she's going to let me carry on. Where did I get to? I don't know. Yes, so I need to get a decent 1500 point lit. Oh, the camera's shaking because she's marking it. Rub it up against it. Yes, thank you. Thank you for... Um, and a tail. That'll sweep a lot of Night Lords off in a minute. I need to get to a decent 1500 point list. Because I've basically just been painting the units that I... Uh, had a separate oh cloud of fur that should be some kind of stratagem that i can use cloud of fur um because as you can see i've got all my uh, regular marine claws i've got one claw of um the bloodied moor raptor cult i've got one rhino and one uh mortis pattern dreadnought i've also got a bunch of havocs in here so not i'm missing a few key things and by a few key things i mean more rhinos um, possibly a land raider possibly my uh talon master and his atramenta atramenta terminators anyway i digress so I, i'm going to do a 1500 point list to start with and uh, it should actually be available on the channel at the moment, because I'm going to try and put all this up on launch day. Uh, so it should be there to watch, in theory. How strange. I'm filming this and talking about something in the future as though it's happening now. Or oh, is it going to mess with my mind? But what I need to do uh, is I think I need at least one more Rhino to um, get a decent 1500 point list uh, that's going to be reasonably representative. Um so, yeah, so I'm think, toying with the idea of trying to paint <sighs> fur on the Land Raider. Trying to paint the Rhinos and the Dreadnoughts in a batch. Because uh, they're very similar and require similar skills. Um, they don't need a lot of gold. There's going to be a lot of silver dry brushing goes on first. And then some uh, blue and then some ink that I won't be splashing the ink over the whole model like I did with these boys. I'll be a lot more specific and focused on these. Um, so, yeah. But it has brought me in mind of um, which is that I need to work out my law. See, I don't often do homebrew law. So it's the first time I'm building an army based entirely on, um, on on the universe, but also on... Uh, I'm giving my characters their own character. So they're all going to have names. They're all going to have special attributes. Not special rules, but, you know, ways I think they behave, and that will affect how I play them on the tabletop. Which brings me to these three dreadnoughts. So I'm going to have to decide who's piloting them. Now, the Leviathan dreadnought, I'm going to have a lot of fun with because I think I'm going to say he is an old Praetorium of the Night Lords and is absolutely freaking insane. Because the Leviathan Dreadnoughts, from what I gather, most of the pilots go nuts anyway. So I think he's going to behave quite erratically um, on the battlefield and there's going to be a lot of bloodlust and torture lust from this guy. Um I went with the Butcher Cannon Array because it's the negative leadership one. Um, then I looked at the start and it's actually quite nice. Uh, but I deliberately went for a close combat arm because I think in the vast majority of cases, dreads should be both punchy and shooty and be going up there to support their brothers. I don't tend to use them as gun platforms. Um, now the Contemptor. So in, in saying that, he, I, I don't know until I've played them, obviously, but in theory, he won't get used that often. He'll be something that they wake up quite reluctantly because he's so nuts. 
Um, obviously, there are no rules anymore for representing them shooting their own guys on the tabletop, but narratively, they're going to be pretty pretty apprehensive of taking this guy to war with them. So I don't anticipate using this one a lot. Now, of these other two, I need to decide who's piloting them because that will then dictate how often I use them. I want one of them to be just a, a relatively bog-standard dude who's ended up going into a sarcophagus, but I want another one to be a significant figure from the carrot from the um, from the talon, and as such, relatively stable. Now you'll notice this guy has no arms at the moment, and that's because I chose to right way up. I chose to magnetize him because there's no butcher cannon arm model, and I obviously want a butcher cannon because you know night lords. Um, and with all the new ninth rules coming out, his head's around here somewhere. It's down here, probably. There it is. I thought they may end up dropping the butcher cannon, and I'm not sure the or the um, the auto cannon will be the weapon I want. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll magnetize them so I can switch them out. And it makes sense as well. The dark mechanicus will be changing the loadout on the dreadnoughts as and when they deem appropriate. So I may end up swapping the arms around on this. Tried to do it like that. Turned out much, much, much harder. So he's fixed. Um, so I'm thinking maybe one of these guys is a fallen atramenta, and maybe one of the others is um, maybe a, a sergeant, like a claw leader. Uh, I don't want it to be a former talent master because that's just a direct rip from the Night Lord trilogy. But I am pondering what they're going to be. So I don't know yet. I don't know. I haven't decided. So that's that. Oh, quick camera pause. So the other dilemma I had when making these models up was how much, um, let's call it paraphernalia, i.e. body parts and stuff they have hanging off them. Um, these three were relatively straightforward because this one comes with a cadaver hanging off it, which is the main reason I bought it because it's a Night Lord specific model and it's got a corpse on it, which is awesome. And a few heads hanging on it, but the rest of it's pretty tame. There's like a hand hanging off it there and a couple of hooks, which and some bones. Meh. Um, this one's got some skin stretched, stretched across it and a few heads hanging from it. So yeah, okay, fair enough. But and these guys need to have some because they get up close and personal. And that's, you know, that's a terror tactics thing. I haven't got much on this guy. I've talked about him previously on a previous vlog. All I really did with him was convert the wings onto him, which I was quite pleased with. Anyway, um, I'm not sure how much corpsage they will actually put on their rhinos. I've put a couple uh, on this one, and there's a few other bits and bobs, like the uh, the heads hanging off it, and uh, and so on. There's a bit of a corpse trailing along it there, but most of it's fairly normal. There's the Chaos Marines. Um, because, I mean, these vehicles just get them about the place on the battlefield. They the people they're trying to terrify won't be very up close and personal with these. Um, the Marines will have got out and be, you know, skinning them alive far away from the rhinos. So I've not put a huge amount. I mean, there's a cadaver skewered on here and there's a bit of a one being dragged along. But other than that, I've kind of left them normal-ish. Um... So I'm I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how well that will fit in with the aesthetic uh, of the army. But ooh, let's come off. On you go. You're magnetized. You know you want to. There you go. Um, so that's been my dilemma there. But this is what I've gone with. Uh, we shall see how well it turns out. So I think what I'm going to do is. The new Indomitus book is out on Audible today because it's release date. I've just downloaded that. I think I'm going to sit and listen to that and start painting these five. Whether I get bored painting all five of them in one go is another matter. Um, we shall see. All right. Catch you all on the other side.
Right, Sunday morning now. Rather than, oh, oh, light. Better. Because overcast outside. Yeah. Uh, right, what have I been doing this morning? I'll talk about the models in a minute when I go back over to the desk. The first thing I've done is I had a good play about with the app yesterday. And I like the app. I've subscribed to the thingy so you get the stuff. Um, and I like the way that you can go into the unit and it's got all the possible weapon options that that unit can have on the one page with the points. That used to annoy the bejesus out of me with the um, the books. So I think once they debug the app and, uh, you know, make it so that chain swords don't cost 10 points for Care Space Marines. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> hashtag ignoring that. Um yeah, I think it'll be quite good. And especially looking forward to the army building bit of it. But for the time being, that brings me back to pen and paper, which I haven't used for a long time because I kind of got into Battle Scribe in 8th. But I do like pen and paper. So what I've been doing this morning is going through the app, looking at all my Night Lord models. There they are. I've had them all down. And the ones I haven't painted yet. And we're working out how much each claw costs. And I'll probably put them into some kind of spreadsheet and print them out. Because uh, I also need to go through and work out all the names and the characters for the, the different things which I haven't done yet. And so I've got my summary of what all the units cost. <laughs> I love the way that I kept forgetting about the sorcerer. So I've got claws and then raptor packs and then dreadnoughts and then other vehicles. And then at the bottom, oh yeah, I've got a sorcerer. And I thought, I'll, I'll remember that when I'm writing out all the totals so I can see them all on one page. So I got the Talon Master and the Claws and the Raptors. And I forgot the Swords of Rinies at the bottom. Very Night Lords. So I'm having a dilemma. I thought, right, I'll work out my 1,500 points that I'm going to do for the first game I'm going to film, which will be available to watch by the time you're watching this. Still can't get my head around that. Uh, and oh, you can all see how terrible my writing is. Um... And it's coming out at 1,444 points. And I haven't got anything for 56 points. So I'll be trying to work out how I can do it. Because uh, I thought, well, I could make one of the claws smaller because they've had some casualties. And then take what's cheap. Oh, the sorcerer. And another rhino. But he got two rhinos on this list. Uh, the idea with this. And I think this is quite Night Lords y, is to have rhinos on the table that go forward and the units that aren't in rhinos uh, go into strategic reserve and come on from the flanks in later turns. Still haven't played Ninth Ed, but that's what I'm thinking anyway. And I've got First Claw in this, which is a Mondo unit of uh, Chosen and two characters. Uh, so they'll be in a rhino, which I expect to be targeted with extreme prejudice. Normally, they'll be going in a Land Raider. But that will make the unit cost 630 points. Ouch! Um, but yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have one of the smaller claws get a little bit bigger for this game. I can take four more marines or three with a heavy weapon. And I will have some spares from the other claws. And I think that can be explained away by some of the other claws that have recently been wiped out the remaining casualties have been temporarily absorbed i see this the claw structure whilst i've got my basic this is first claw second claw third claw fourth claw and so on and they've got a fixed number of models um i do see there being some flux in between them in various games because uh a, it's, it's over a long period of time. They may end up absorbing other units from other uh, talents of of, uh, of Night Lords that they end up fighting with. There'll be some who aren't match fit because their arm has been wrecked or because they're recovering from injury. Uh, so, I don't know, if, if the whole of uh, Third Claw has no armour but there's one dude that does or they're all in a healing coma and in the Apothecarian, such as it is, uh, maybe the other guy will attach himself to second claw for a, a, a fight. Not sure how that's going to play narratively, but we shall see. So that's what I've just done. I've just watched... That's my uh, thing on the TV for Chromecast. I've just watched Liam's latest uh, behind-the-scenes filming with Winters, 
where it's taken Winters three hours to film an intro, and that is totally what it's like, gaming with Winters. Totally what it's like. Uh, so, right, now I'm going to go to the desk and talk about how I got on yesterday. Uh, should I pause it, or should I... No, no. no. Action shot. <laughs> right, so... Yesterday, I didn't make a huge amount of progress. I got... Um, a few hours done. So I did the lead belt to dry brushing on all the models. Then I did the super untidy uh, Cantor Blue two coats. Two thin coats. God, I hate painting this way. Two thin coats. And what I tend to find is when I'm doing like wild dry brushing and super messy uh, base coating, because what I tend to do is I tend to be kind of Messy, and then t I start with the c most common colour, generally, and then go down to the least common colour, because I can be messy on the edges of things I haven't painted yet. That's one of the ways I, 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 I find myself being faster. But one of the problems I have is I can't tend to go from messy painting with very little care to really neat, fine detail. On the same day, I have to have a big break. And on... Uh, uh, last night was regular Saturday PlayStation gaming night with uh, my my mates in our in our lockdown game, which we finished last night with a very very disappointing ending to the game. Yeah, ho hum. There's another there's a sequel. We'll start playing that soon. Anyway, so I played was playing that last night, so I didn't make a huge amount of progress. Started listening to the Indomitus book yesterday. A few good bits. I liked the um, the sort of personalities that they started putting in the Necron characters. Treating them basically like people with no souls in metal bodies. With personalities and flaws and stuff. Kind of like that. Also really loved the Destroyers bit where basically they are absolutely freaking insane and it goes through the reason why they're insane and bitter and they're really nervous about waking them up because they have a corrosive influence on any other um, routines that are connected to them so they have to have like layers and layers of safety to uh, to stop them infecting the rest of the um, the rest of the dynasty people R rest of the robots other, other robots that they're near which is really good. So I've had to do a few hours of that. I'm going to do a few more hours today. So I'm now on to super neat. So I'm going to go gold. The lead belt to details that I didn't manage. That need a fine to brush rather than dry brushing. Then onward to then the little colours. Got to do all the corpses and skulls. Uh, that's for hair. Yes, hair. Then got to drown it in null oil. Let's see how far I get. Okay, it's now Monday evening, and this is where I got to. I've been distracted today. Well, not distracted. I've had um, I've had non-gaming things on today. Plus, my Indomitus box arrived, so I've been leafing through that and trying to work, make sense of the uh, the rule book and what I like and what I don't and all that stuff. So. Uh, didn't get quite as far as I would have liked on Sunday. I've got most of my main base colours on. But I still need to get these on before I douse it all in the magic black stuff. Um, the dilemma I usually have is how much detail to put on the... Oh, let me see if I zoom. 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 How much detail to put on the cadavers and the bones and the corpses and so on before I do the null oil because I can then come back to those later. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just put a pretty basic set of colours on them. Bit of flesh, bit of bone, bit of blood. I've got some helmets which are the helmets of fallen members of the 13th ha 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 ha, ha to paint up uh, all my all my trophy helms are 13th which is the space marine chapter of winter's seo who i play a lot 
Uh, and I've got some random civvies that need to wear um, military khaki and also hair. So I think I am just going to get the rest of these colours on and then start on the left with the known and start on the right with the known or the left and then work my way left. And then hopefully by the time I'm knowing these up, they'll be dry. Then it's on to blocking in the blue again and uh, the red and all the uh, little bits of dry brushing. But to be fair, on this scheme, there is not that much highlighting to do because I choose to believe that the Night Lords will intentionally dull down their armour. So I don't want too many edge highlights making it pop because I don't think they would have that um, intentionally, which does make it a little bit look like they're rushed through. But I think the overall effect at the end is is quite good. I like it anyway. Oh, that's a Lemmy hair. Lemmy hair alert. Dab it. Um, oh, it's the wrong button on the zoom. Oh god, the technology is failing me. Right, press the eject button. Uh, I'm gonna carry on painting now. Bye. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and the fairy one is being placated with food, but not for very long. So what am I doing? Um, well, my BFF came around yesterday with her nieces, and they have been helping me assemble terrain and scaven clan rats from the old Island of Blood box. Touch surreal. Um, and I am sat in my kitchen with my co host, who's now having me fed, probably going to run upstairs and sleep for the next six hours until she decides that she demands something from me. And I am about to sit and work out everything I've got to do to launch. That's better. To launch my channel. Oh, the remains of my breakfast there. Yes. Mm. Incredibly healthy. Alpen light. Only not very many calories. But I need to eat that in order to take the mountain of drugs I have to take to survive each day. I digress. Um, so I'm going to sit and work out all the things I've got to do to launch my channel this week which will have already happened by the time you're watching this, but still not getting used to that. Um, so what have I got to do? I've got to finish going through the core rule book because um, as is explained in one of my other videos, which I'm yet to make, uh, I have house rules. And I knew I needed to do that when I first read the rules online, but I don't know what else is in there that I may need to look at, just to make sure. Just to make sure if there's, there's nothing else I need to uh, tweak. Um, I've got to do some night lording. I need names for my characters. Oh, I need to do that for the Fulminators too. Because I'm going to film a Night Lords versus Fulminators battle. Right, so yeah, my first task is to make a list of all the things I've got to do. All the videos I want to make. I want to do like a... Uh, this is my YouTube channel and who I am and what I do and why I do it. Uh, then I want to do a video about what I think of ninth, good and bad. And then I want to do a video about uh, the other thing. Yeah, the other thing, whatever that was. Uh, uh, house rules, did I say that already? Not sure. Uh, I could go back and check. Uh, a more professional person would actually stop this video and start again given i've talked about the cat and my breakfast and medication and really not very much about the hobby but you know that is the quality of videos you can expect from me so uh, yeah hashtag switch off now if that's not your thing um what else do i need to do 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 
I'm sure there must be more stuff. I've got to finish painting some of those Night Lords because I want to use two of those models in my army, which I hope to film tomorrow. Um, there was another thing that I was going to tell you about, and I can't remember it. So it either wasn't that important, or later on, I think I've already told you about it, and in fact, I haven't. Um, right, I better get making lists and coming up with names and doing all that good stuff. Right, I've just spent like an hour working out names for my Night Lords and um, the various um, raptor cult packs and all that good stuff. Really enjoyed that. Um, now I'm looking at my fulminators because I'm going to do this battle report. It's going to, well, hopefully it's going to be some kind of series of battle reports. Now the fulminators are an Ultramarine's successor chapter. Um, however, they were they were created on Mars um, during massive lightning storms at the age towards the end of the scouring. So everyone involved really hated chaos for quite a long time. And then they've been woken up percent on the Indomitus Crusade. So when deciding what traits to give them, I think I'm going to give them bolt of fuse lades because they're ultramarines and a preferred enemy traitors, which assuming I stick to the preferred enemy, I think there's a lot of trial and error involved with this, but assuming I stick to preferred enemy, it will always be traitors, even if I'm fighting non-traitors because, you know, it's me and to do anything else would make no sense whatsoever but i'm now looking at all my characters that i've got and admittedly there are a shed load more in that box but all the characters i've got and i've got painted and i thought aha the ultramarines name generator aha uh -huh -huh. which i quite like um so I am going to start at the top, roll the dices, and see how my names turn out. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, it probably means they turned out mostly okay. And I didn't just delete them out of hand. Oh, she's sniffing around at my lunch. Uh, well, what was my lunch? Which, you know, I've eaten before lunchtime. Because this is hungry work. It is. It is. I digress. Right, let's see how this goes. Okay, back at the painting desk. So I think this is going to be the last segment of this particular vlog. Uh, mainly because before I start filming my other videos, I need to get this footage off the film, uh, off the phone. Otherwise, I'll get all mixed up and might end up attaching the wrong things to each other, which would be bad. So I just thought I'd quickly tell you where I was at and then bid you adieu uh, and get on with the stuff. I'm hoping to get stuff done over the next couple of days and then live at some point this week. I'm super, super, super excited. I just worked out the mission I want to play tomorrow with Fulminators against Night Lords. I just wanted to go play it straight away, but I can't because I need him and, well, one of these two. Uh, so, yeah, super excited. So, where I'm at here with... <sighs> I love you too, you little ageing maniac. Oh, that's your fur. Right, so I've done all the base colours and then I've inked it, which, whilst it's part of the process, it's really quite demoralising because I now have to go and do all the colours again but just slightly away from the edges. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to do all the blocking in again. Uh, but, you know, this is the method I chose. Uh, I've also just ordered another box of Chaos Marines because the way things are being picked now in Ninth Ed, I need to have two more troops otherwise i'll never be able to get all my characters into one list so two more troops is going to be a brigade so given the fact that these are all quite attritional and they're often going to be marines in um 
in uh, in the non-combat statuses. I'm going to get one box, make two units of five, so I can have six claws. And uh, yeah, yeah, so I can then do a battalion brigade, the big one, and fit all. The problem is, you see, I've got four heavy choices. I got a land raider, I got a leviathan, and I got two units of havocs. I basically, I'm not so sure about this Leviathan. I don't know how well this is going to look because it hasn't got any trim. Look at the Contemptor. It's got some gold trim. It looks kind of like a Night Lord Marine because there's gold bits and red bits and everything. And a flayed face. Hmm, flayed. Um, but this guy, there's boggle trim. So I don't know how I'm going to get the gold onto this model. I don't really think I am. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this is going to look in the end. So yeah, we shall see. Right. So I'm going to leave you there. And there has just been a new bat rep put up on deployment zone. So I'm going to sit and watch that and painty painty. Okay. See you in the next one, folks. Bye for now.